Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a wonderful day so far and a wonderful holiday season and staying safe. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before I even progress with this video is I wanted to give a big, big shout out to all of you guys and huge thank you for all of the likes just recently and as well as all the subscribers that have come this way. Really means a lot. I appreciate the support. It's been awesome just interacting with everybody and as well as just, uh, yeah, just talking about Bunny Girl Senpai or talking about different other anime and stuff um, that I really like to do. Uh, I know I haven't been super active just recently because of holiday times and as well as just work and stuff like that. Just being a little bit busy as of this time kind of brings on, you know, um, uh, but still more to come on the channel pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give a big, big shout out to everybody out there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give another big shout out, huge shout out to the best girl, my Sakurajima. It was her birthday just a couple of days ago. Felt bad I couldn't make a video on that day. We all know her. We all love her. My Sakurajima is amazing, gorgeous, smart, everything, like anything you can kind of throw out there with uh, a good attribute <laughs> for somebody like that. Uh, but yeah, my Sakurajima's birthday was just the other day. Um, they didn't really announce or do anything crazy for it. In Japan, they did like a little lottery kind of merchandise sale thing. And people who bought merchandise um, for My Sakurajima or just uh, different things like that. I'm pretty sure it was just for like My Sakurajima merchandise. And people who did end up buying that stuff, I think they chose like 10 people out of that sale who ended up purchasing things. Uh, they had an opportunity to win a like life-size cutout of My Sakurajima or something like that. And that was really cool. Can you imagine having a big ass freaking My Sakurajima in your room or something like that or just somewhere around your house or something. I think that would be super dope. That would be super cool. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that would be awesome to get your hands on at some point. Lucky people in Japan that have that going on over there and have that availability. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to mention My Sakurajima's birthday, some things that they had going on with that, and as well as show you guys some awesome new Bunny Girl Senpai merch that came out recently. Some newly released stuff. Um, I know a lot of people know that the Six Light novel has come out just recently for Bunny Girl Senpai, The Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl, that covers the first part of the Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl movie, um, and yeah, I got my hands on it. As always, I picked up the newest light novel for Bunny Girl Senpai, like I said, uh, this is Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl. Uh, the one that covers, of course, Shoko Makinohara's arc within the series um, during the movie. So this is the back part over here with the little chibi Shoko right here that they usually do for all of their light novels. Of course, the front cover again for it. Just want to give you guys a little good peek at that. And as well as just a little sneak peek as to what's inside of it as well. They usually have like little posters or little uh, long pictures and stuff like that in some of these light novels that look really nice, really cute. Um, and I'm going to show you guys one of these right here. This first one is of Shoko Makinohara. So this one is just her kind of cooking inside of Sakata's house. And, you know, all the drama that comes with Makinohara. Uh, Shoko just being in the house in general with my Sakurajima, of course, being Sakata's girlfriend and everything. Um, it has a little description here of uh, Shoko as well. It says, a mysterious older girl um, who was Sakata's first love when Sakata needs help. She appears out of nowhere unbeknownst to Mai. She's currently living with Sakata? Question mark. Just uh, kind of like, what the heck? <laughs> and then uh, here is the back part as well uh, for... Uh, my Sakurajima, so my looking gorgeous as ever in some winter clothes and stuff during this time. Uh, really, really cool, beautiful picture. I love it. I love both pictures. They always look awesome like this. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys some of this stuff here. Hopefully you guys can see that well. Um, but yeah, this part has a little blurb as well for My Sakurajima. So there's one at the top, or there's a couple here. So it says, so don't you go panting after any other women. So pretty much my telling Sakata, you like, keep it in your pants. Don't, don't do anything crazy. Um, and then another one at the bottom, it says, will the appearance of Sakata's first love cause a rift in their relationship, which uh, we know there was a little bit of drama there going on with Sakata and, and Mai and, uh, and Shoko as well with all that stuff that they had going on in the movie. And then another little thing with my personally, it says a famous actress and Sakata's girlfriend, a third year at Minagahara High. Her current goal is to meet Sakata's parents formally. I think that was a really cool ad that they put there. Just kind of, you know, what something that she really wanted to do, a goal of hers and stuff when it comes to Sakata and his family and stuff like that. Because, you know, she's interacted with uh, Kaede a whole bunch with Sakata, of course. And um, yeah, just kind of wanting to see her plans and stuff like that, her hopes to kind of get closer to um, his family in general, other than that, you know, with the dad, the mom and stuff. I know we haven't seen his mom a ton because she was like in the hospital and stuff like that, or just, you know, going through it because of the stuff that happened with Kaide. But yeah, that's really cool that they added that piece in. 
Um, and there's some more little advertisement pieces that I will show right now. They're advertising already the next volume, the seventh volume of the light novel uh, that covers the last part of the movie, which I think is really cool. And uh, yeah, so this first picture on the left of my Sakura Jima, it says, I want you to choose a future with me. So pretty much what she was saying in the movie, like, don't go after this girl Shoko, like, I want you to stay with me. Like, uh, don't go after her and don't, you know, try to do that transplant thing to give, um, you know, his heart and everything like that to Shoko, because then, of course, he'd pass away and then not be with mine. It would just, of course, leave her as well as his family and everybody, all the loved ones, really, really sad. And then we have this other piece here that's on the other side of it that says, Asakata fights against destiny, desperate to change the worst outcome. Uh, will the seventh light novel give Mai her smile back? And then just saying, Rascal does not dream of a girl in her first love, or Hatsukoi Shoujo, girl who falls in love for the first time, coming in spring 2022. Uh, which I think is really cool that they're already advertising the second part of this. Awesome, because that's the last stuff that we've seen actually in anime form and that we got going on there. And after that is, of course, the stuff after the movie, which is going to be freaking awesome. Can't wait for it. We're coming up on it pretty quick. This comes out in spring, of course, in April. So right now we're in December and usually they kind of advertise the next light novel that comes after the one that's like next up and coming. They advertise that like a few months ahead of time. So, uh, or at least a little bit before the other light novel is even coming out yet. So right now we're in December. So I'm expecting the advertisement or at least um, the availability for pre-order and stuff for the eighth light novel to maybe be available by like, I want to say February or something like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. We're not that far away from it, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's going on within the sixth light novel as of right now. I haven't gotten a chance to actually dive into it and read it just yet, but I plan to do that very, very soon. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys too, which is awesome, is I wanted to show you guys this. One of my favorite figures. No, this is probably, yeah my favorite figure of my Sakurajima and it fits the time it's Christmas time holiday season um, but I got myself a my Sakurajima Christmas bunny girl bunny girl uh, figure here it is awesome it looks super cute at least on the box and everything the cover it looks great it looks like I said it looks amazing um, but I'm going to take this out in just a second. All right, so I got it all opened up and everything, and it looks absolutely stunning, amazing. I love the heck out of it. Like I said, this is hands down my favorite version of my Sakurajima in um, figure form here. It looks great. I love the detail, love the red bunny girl ears. I like the little Santa bunny girl outfit looks awesome. The stand looks great too. I'll try to show better visuals, a little bit closer view of the figure and everything on screen in some fashion. Uh, but yeah, the stand looks awesome too. It says My Sakurajima, Winter Bunny Girl version. Uh, but yeah, it looks amazing. There's a little bit of a smudge on the back too of her hair, but that's no big deal. I could clean that up at some point. But yeah, it looks amazing. Cool. So now I got two more things that I want to show you guys and gals here. So I got a My Sakurajima uh, pillow here. It is adorable, super cute. My Sakurajima in her school attire and the bunny girl ears uh, little ad there, which I think is adorable. So it looks great. Yep. Just want to give you guys a little good look at this in some way. And then the other side is just the same deal there. Just Bunny Girl Senpai Mai in her school uniform uh, looking cute as ever. So this last one I got here is another pillow. So you guys are probably wondering, why did you get another pillow? Why did you get another My Sakurajima pillow? Um, and I wasn't planning on doing this when I was at the store. I almost missed this. I was just like about to walk out the door. I took a little peek like in my peripheral vision to my left and I saw something super cute that I was like, I gotta get this. This is amazing. Uh, but yeah, one, it has my Sakurajima in her lovely bunny girl senpai attire here. So if you guys can take a peek at this, hopefully you can see, uh, but this is the my Sakurajima version of this. Hopefully I'm showing all of it. Uh, but yeah, that is the beautiful my Sakurajima as always. And then I'm going to show this other part, which was the reason why I caught it because I thought it was super weird that they had anything of this character in bunny girl senpai, but it is Ryo Futaba. So they had this, this is what was on display kind of like this side of it was what I saw. And I was like, Whoa, like, like they have Futaba stuff here. Like that's super cute. You never see that. When you see somebody selling something of Bunny Girl Senpai in their stores, it's always of my. 
it's always of my Sakurajima. It's never of anybody else. Um, I wish they did, but uh, unfortunately you don't see that often. Uh, but this one I saw and it was Ryo Futaba looking adorable too. One of the other best girls in the Bunny Girl Senpai series. Hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully you guys are able to see the whole thing here. But yeah, that's Ryo Futaba, the other side of the pillow there. It's the reason why I got it because I was like, they don't really sell much of um, any other character in Bunny Girl Senpai other than Mai Sakurajima. So I was like, cool, you know, two great things on this pillow. The Bunny Girl Senpai version of Mai and then the Ryo Futaba that we got going on here as well on the other side. Uh, but that was the last thing that I really had to show everybody here. Hope everybody enjoyed seeing all of these things, these newly released uh, merchandise pieces. This pillow was newly released by that store that I recently got from. And then as well as the Christmas My Sakurajima figure that I got here that was released just a couple of weeks ago, I believe. And then the uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl uh, six light novel that was just released about six days ago on November 30th, which is cool. A lot of new stuff of Bunny Girl Senpai coming out recently, which I love. But yep, let me know what you guys think of all the stuff that I got here about some of the news, some of the stuff that they did for uh, My Sakurajima's birthday with that sale that they had going on and possibly getting a life-size cutout of My Sakurajima, which was be would which would be amazing. Let me know if you guys would want to get that on your hands and everything, because that would be really, really cool. Or about the eighth light novel um, that's possibly coming pretty soon, seventh light novel coming up in April, and possibly getting that reveal and pre-order availability probably in like February or just in the upcoming months in general. We're not that far away. We're already in December, so something pretty soon is gonna be coming up for that, and we're gonna get some new content on our hands sometime this coming up next year, which is gonna be great. Appreciate you guys for watching as always leave a like on the video if you guys can it helps me out a ton uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already and turn on that notification bell to get updates on whenever i do upload a video thank you guys for watching and see you guys later Bye bye